shoulder internal rotation hails and rails, or a sleeper hails and rails. You're gonna start in a sideline position. Make sure you have a pillow or a block, something for your head, and you're gonna take another block for your legs so you can generate a little bit of extra force there too. We're gonna be doing internal rotation on the left side. So you're gonna start with the elbow shooting off to about 90 degrees. You're gonna move it slightly inwards at about 45 to start. You can play around with the different ranges, find what's comfortable for you. Take that top hand, the right hand, gently start pulling down the bottom hand into more internal rotation stretch. What you don't wanna do is have your shoulder blade come off the floor with you. So you're gonna to try to keep that shoulder down onto the ground as you're gently pulling it down. Eventually you're gonna feel a little bit of a stop. That first stop, see if you can feel a stretch position. The stretch should be somewhere along this backside here not through the front. If you're feeling it through the front, you're going to have to adjust your positioning so that you don't get that closing angle. After this passive stretch, which you're going to hold for two minutes, if that feels okay, you're going to start up your pales contraction. So what pales is, is you're going to press back into the hand into more external rotation, but since the top hand is there blocking you from going anywhere, it's going to be an isometric contraction. From there, let's start up our first pales, assuming you've Spend two minutes here, breathe in, it radiates, so generate some tension, squeeze that block here, and press back into the hand at about 10% pressure. If 10% feels good for you, and you just feel extra sensation somewhere along the backside, then you can continue on. If it doesn't, then just stay with the passive stretch or stay at 10%. So continue on, you can go anywhere up to 100% or whatever's as prescribed. So 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, and then hold for the prescribed duration. Then afterwards, relax. After that relaxation, if it's as prescribed, then you can go into rails. If not, just gently glide it down into a little bit more passive stretch. But if you're doing the rails, what the rails is you're going to go from here down towards the ground into more internal rotation. Think of spinning the humerus down towards the ground and not allowing the scapula to come off the floor with you too as well. So making sure that the shoulder blade just stays down through there. So after the pails, assuming we're going into that rails position, breathe in again and take it away from that top hand pulling down to the ground, trying to rotate that arm keep pulling and hold for the prescribed duration. Afterwards, take that top hand, meet the bottom wherever it's at, and then relax and just sink a little bit further into that stretch before you begin the second set again.